Hello, hi, Shlo here. I just arrived in Mumbai. I'm so excited. It's the first time I've ever been to India. Um, and I'm just so excited to be here, you know, the food and the smells and the people and the temperature. And um, I'm about to teach a workshop to a bunch of uh, local school kids um, here in uh, Mumbai. So it's really exciting. I'm not sure if anybody, any, any of them have even heard of beatboxing before. So I'm going to show them what I do and try and teach them some of the, the vocal sounds that I do. Put your hand in the air if you've heard beatboxing before. Put your hand in the air if you've never heard beatboxing before. <laughs> okay, I'll show you. It's all done with the voice, yeah? <laughs> Music's been my whole life, really. My, my father's a jazz guitarist and my mother's a, a dancer. And um, yeah, I grew up in a very loud, noisy household. Um, my, my grandmother's, um, she was one of the only, um, she was one of a big community of uh, Iraqi Jewish people in London. So they'd ha have these huge parties where they'd have a whole Arabic band. And uh, belly, uh, there's videos of me when I was five years old belly dancing at these parties. And so it was just always surrounded by rhythm and music. And I've just always been mad about as much music as I can find and just try to digest it and figure out how they're doing it. And it's just an obsession. It's, it's a lovely obsession. So the idea is you make music with nothing but your voice. You have everything you need built into your face. But um, what I'd really like to do is show you some of the really basic techniques so that everybody here can start to make music with their voice. The first thing you have to learn if you want to learn beatboxing is the really, really simple sounds. The drum sounds. They're the first things we have to learn. We have to learn how to make drum sounds with our voice. First thing you can do really is to get your lips really loose like this. Like a horse. That's good, that's good. That's good, don't be shy. You've got to get your lips real loose. Keep doing it, keep going. Good, good, good. So what we do is we tighten it a bit from there, so you get like this. Like a short. Yeah, good. Good, okay, very good. This one is called the kick, okay? I'm gonna teach you three. That's the first one. The second one is probably the easiest one. That's good. What you wanna do is push a lot of air in a short time. So it's powerful and crisp. That's good. Very good. So these are the first two sounds. The kick and the hi-hat. The P and the T. So the third one is the most important one. It's quite easy as well. Try that. That's good. That's good. OK, so after three, we're going to do our favorite snare sound, the K, as loud as we can. Ready? One, two, three. Good. We'll do it all together. So it's going to go one, two, three. Ready? One, two, three. Very good. OK, fantastic. So now we've learned the three sounds. The first one was the letter P. Good. The second one, T. And the third one, K. So when you put them together, you get P, T, K. P, T, K. Excellent. Very good. Bit louder. Good. Make them short. Good. Keep going. Very good. Well done. Round of applause for yourself, please. I always got asked if I'd do beatbox workshops right from the beginning and I started doing beatbox workshops as soon as I started performing really and, and the first few ones I did I didn't really know how to interact with the kids but I was just kind of making it up and it, it was sometimes more successful than others. 
You want the mic to almost touch your lips. Now a bit. Yeah. Close. Gradually I kind of realised what kids latch on to and it's, they really like, they love the beatboxing, you know, it's like you just got this, this tool the whole time, You've always, you can always get their attention, you can always get their focus back. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. A lot of problem when you're teaching kids, it's very difficult to keep them focused and keep their attention on one thing. So I've seen teachers really struggle and really fight with them, even if it's something that they're quite interested in, they'll lose, they'll lose attention. So the beatboxing is just this absolute blessing because you have this power every time you need to. You're right back in there when they're in and they're remembering why they're there and why they want to learn it and, and it's really effective. Yes! Yeah! I like your experimentation, very good. You're playing around with it, it's grand. We like today what Mr. Shlok tell us and uh, we learn uh, sounds, very much sounds and we are experienced. We like the song very much. Oh, it was so lovely to teach the kids. Um, they really picked it up so quickly and they gave it a lot of energy. First I wasn't sure if they were going <laughs> to go for it because I was like, uh, who's heard of beatboxing? And they were just like... <laughs> so I had to show them, I had to explain. But they were so sweet, they worked really hard at it. And Actually, they picked it up a lot quicker than a lot of adults that I've taught. So. I don't know if it's like a natural inbuilt rhythm or, or what, but they just, they were really great, really great kids. I just want to share all these things, what I learned today in my school lesson. To uh, introduce people that what is uh, the value of music.